What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back. As you can tell, today I'm on a little getaway. I too sometimes take a little bit of a break. And I'm at my favorite location for the ones who know, they know I love the beach. Anything to do with the pool, the beach, the sand, the sun, I love it. And what goes hand in hand while I'm at the beach, books. No surprise there. So today I'll be sharing my five summer recommendations. And I know this is not the season, but Pakistan is mostly a warmer uh, country for the ones who do not know. It's a little warm around the year with a little bit of a gap of winters. So, and I'm not somebody who is into seasonal reading. I read throughout the year, regardless if the book does coordinate with the weather or not. So nonetheless, uh, let's get into it. So uh, the first book, <laughs> It's by Bella Mackey, and uh, it's called How to Kill Your Family. <laughs> a very funny story with this. Uh, I was traveling from London to Pakistan, and I had this, I was reading this book, throughout the flight, and everybody who crossed was looking at me. It was a bit weird reading this with public around, but uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this. It's a bit of a thriller. I love her writing style. It is funny. I don't mostly laugh. Uh, they don't make me laugh. But this book, this has to be maybe the only book that made me laugh. I love the plot, the storyline. Uh, I know the title is a bit different, but you definitely need to read this book. I loved it. I cannot recommend it enough. So whenever you get a chance, this is the book. Following that, uh, I'm sure everybody knows about this book. This is the first time I read or picked up a book by this author. Instantly became a fan and I cannot wait to pick up more of her books. I'm sure you already know, Emily Henry, Happy Place. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it's such a perfect summer read. Really quick to get by and uh, I definitely enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend this. If you haven't read anything by Emily Henry, go for it. You would not be disappointed. Uh, number three is a book that I just picked up. I've been hearing a lot about this author. Uh, it's a romantic sort of a book. Uh, it's by Ashley Poston. Is that romantic? I've just picked this up. Uh, so far I'm at page what? Wait. I think I was on chapter 12, yeah. Uh, I've just started reading this and I'm hooked. Like honestly, I think she has only two other books so far. Uh, her new book just came out. But uh, this is the second book she also wrote, The Seven Year Slip. I haven't read that, uh, definitely gonna read that after this because yes, go for it. Number four, uh, I obviously, regardless summer, fall, Bring. I cannot get by without a good thriller. And this is a perfect summer thriller. The Last Mrs. Parish. Uh, I, this was a very satisfying book. That, that's what I can say about this. A lot of times you have a thriller and the ending is not up to your mark. Even if the mystery or the thriller is solved. But you do wish the outcome was satisfactory as a reader. Uh, this book does remind me of another book by Frida. I forgot her last name, Frida. Someone, uh, the housemaid who wrote The Housemaid, I read that book as well. Similar, why? But this the ending satisfied me. I was so satisfied with the outcome. The kind of thing I wish other thriller books did as an end. So very satisfying, very summary. Pick it up, pick it up, I'm telling you, pick it up, you will really enjoy this and I know people praise about this, you will not be disappointed, go for it. Lastly, uh, I ha I'm a little 50-50 with the next book, it is uh, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read her other book, The Seven Husbands of uh, Evelyn Hugo and because of that I started reading this. Very summary wise, I'm not going to get into the what the storyline is, you just have to trust me if you're going for summer vibe, if you're a mood reader. If you're not a mood reader, in general, if you're like me, you just like to read, 
regardless of the season. Uh, this is a very fun, a fast-paced, family-oriented kind of book. A bit different from the other books that I've shared with you guys today. And you really do want to read uh, any book, but especially this one by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm telling you, you'll not be disappointed. And people have been praising this book and there's a reason. And yeah, I am gonna now get back to my reading. Get back to my reading. And I'll catch you guys later. I hope you're enjoying the summer and I hope you all are taking some time off for yourself and doing what you like, as I am, at the beach. See you guys next time.